Come on in, everybody. God bless you. God bless all of you. Come on, it's going to be something tonight on the warrior woman. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, we're going to give you one minute to get everybody in tonight. Junking Hill. We we miss you all. Listen, people of God, we're not going to keep you long tonight. Um, good news, you're going to be able to pre-order on tomorrow the CD More of You. So I'm excited about that. Today we're going to talk about the warrior woman. It's a revelation that the Lord has given my husband. So we are going to let him open it up for us. <laughs> get your men in here get your hubbies in here because the warrior women I tell you it's a special anointing upon your life and I'm going to allow my husband to just come in and give us the revelation so get some men in here tonight I am I'm I, just now I was looking at my phone someone is sending me a testimony from the 21 day fast so more and more is coming in. I'm just excited about that. So, listen, those of you who are fasting with us, God is still moving. God is still moving. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to count down 60 seconds, and then we're going to begin. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
because I'm a little drunk. These are not drunk as you suppose. <laughs> Look, this is water, guys. Clear water. You want to tell me you are not in the Holy Ghost today? <laughs> no. <laughs> we are drunk in the Holy Ghost. Come on. Hey. the new wine. Hey, buddy. So, God bless you all. Listen, we are going to talk about the warrior woman, why it is so important. I'm going to let you just, you know, come in and talk a bit about um, the warrior woman. My husband came to me one day and he said, listen, uh, no, that's not how it went. You were writing. Yeah. You were writing super fast. And my husband is a writer, so he's writing tons of books. I had no idea he was going to be in a monastery. <laughs> When I married him, I had no idea. I knew he was a writer, but I did not know he would be writing for the majority of our marriage. I had no idea. So, you know, right there, I was like going back and forth to God. Now, God, what is this? Because, you know, you didn't prepare me for this. Anywho, he was in there writing fast, 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 fast. And I said, now, what are you doing? Why are you writing so fast? He said, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. He said, oh, you know, just writing, 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 writing. He says, oh, I'm coming. I said, okay. All right, you're coming. So when he was finished writing, he came to me and uh, he said, listen, you want to hear this revelation that the Lord just gave to me uh, on the warrior woman? I say, sure. So what happened after that? <laughs> uh, what happened is that, um, I mean, after the writing, I looked at what I had written down. Uh, it was unbelievable. No, was, not, not I, only the unbelievable it, it was so part, powerful but what, that happened, I said, what happened after that was, um, when you told me about I it, looked at your life. And you said, <laughs> and then I stopped, and I was like, I didn't know what to say, because all I could hear was myself in the writing. That's right. So then you begin to explain what a warrior woman is from the God perspective. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're coming. We're coming from the God perspective tonight on the power of the warrior woman we don't want to hold them long today so i want you to jump in here and just let them know about the warrior woman you said you say here a warrior's life is lived fighting and winning battles all the time now i'm sure a lot of men will have a problem with a warrior woman yeah. in some instances can you talk about the anointing of a warrior woman, why is it important that every spouse who have a warrior woman, why is it important for the man to understand that God has given her this special anointing or special call? Uh, can you talk to that a little bit? The whole thing is that um, a, when you look at the concept of warfare, normally you don't see a lot of uh, women uh, talk less of wives mm -hmm. gravitating towards going to war because normally men look at their wives as okay this is my wife here she have to stay home take care of the kids cook clean and uh, you know take care of the house and then a man go out to do some things but uh, there are some women all right you say some women so oh, yeah. we're talking about a special certain kind like <laughs> in the bible right when you see the word certain, oh, I yes. want, when you're reading the Bible and you see the word, there was a certain man. There's or a there distinction. Was a certain woman. All right, mm -hmm. go ahead. Uh, there's a distinction when I say some women. Mm -hmm. A warrior woman is not called a warrior woman just as a word of play. It's not a word of play. That's who she is. And some men will find it very, very difficult to, uh, you know, live in the same proximity with a warrior woman. Why? Because to understand a, a woman who is enthusiastic about warfare and who is willing to be armed and get into battles, uh, it is very challenging. Well, I mean, if you if you tell me or any other person about a warrior woman, the very first thing come to mind is that this girl is a fighter. What? This girl is a fighter. I don't want to cross her the wrong way because she's coming out fighting. And I think <laughs> the, the most part about it is, is that we're not talking anything physical here. No. Everything we're talking to you about tonight is 100% spiritual yeah. because 
we are not in a physical battle. When we were unsaved, when we before we met Christ, we would duke it out with people. We would fight. We would give knives. We would bust people in the heads. You know, we would carry guns. And you know, we you know that's what the world did. But we're in the kingdom of God now, and the Bible tells us that our warfare is not of the flesh. It's not so common, yes. because we are spiritual people, the Bible tells us that we are wrestling. Now I don't understand why folk can't get that word clear enough. But <laughs> wrestling is not a boxing match where you one, two, three, boom, knock you're out and he's not going to get up again. Uh -huh. You know, the referee is one, two, three, you know, we it's have over. a winner. It's over. That's not the description that the Bible gives about our warfare. The That's Bible right. gives a wrestling match. And so Christians are like, why am I always fighting? Where are these battles coming from? Honey pie, get ready for a wrestling. Get ready for a match after a match after another match. Right. Because every level you go up to, there is another devil you have to face. Everywhere you are climbing the ladder of the rankings in the realms of the spirit, you're going to be met with a higher principality. There were times when God would allow you to rest, pull back, retreat mm -hmm. but now he's pouring into you for your next battle so those of you who don't know about warfare who don't understand about it well just read from the apostle paul who wrote two-thirds of the new testament and listen not only that jesus christ was a man of war right that is correct. so he said that i am a man of war mm -hmm. now when you talk about a warry woman i'm certain that this woman probably have been fighting all throughout her life certain circumstances mm -hmm. throughout her life from a child women had to be strong because there were so many different things that come to her way circumstances you know they say women are like spaghetti all our lives are so interconnected intertwined with every other thing we're taking care of kids we're taking care of future husband we're, we're thinking about this person that person we're trying to think about the neighbor we want to take care of this one and that one so we're all over the place and we're fighting in life period for position and all of these types of things Ooh, so you, talk about Talk about where you get, you know, how God explained it to you, because I'm just going off of what I know. But That's right. I want you to talk yeah. about what the Lord told you. Uh, when you are dealing with a warrior woman, uh, a warrior, if by nature, is someone who has a unique instinct. Uh, even when they are not uh, exposed to a battlefront, because they are trained in that nature or in that aspect. Which means their whole surrounding is full of, you know, unusual senses. So, when you are dealing with some people like that, uh, even if, you know, when they are women, uh, they are scoping the environment, they are scoping the atmosphere, they are looking out for the enemy. They are constantly on a watch out because they are trained for warfare. So, I hear you said they are on a watch out. So, they are already watchmen. Oh, yeah. They are watchmen Serious in the realms watchmen. of the spirit. Oh, yeah. So, write that down. And they are too. watchmen. They are intercessors. Mm -hmm. They are standing in the gap for someone's life. They are duking it out with Satan. For yeah. their children, for their spouse, for their uh, city, for their nation. Go uh, ahead. Depending on the scope that God has actually uh, raised up these women or elevated them, mm -hmm. this is where you are going to find a great challenge when it comes to uh, a man coming into a, a relationship with such a woman because this woman knows what life is about. Life is, you know, a, a, a warrior's life is not a joke. And so the man would want, you know, just a woman, a wife, uh, someone that will sit home, someone that will sit quiet and will not look into anything. No, that woman is trained to be a warrior, even though she's a wife. That is why I, you know, in my, um, the tagline that I gave to uh, that topic was a wife fit for a soldier. Okay, a wife that's fit to be a soldier? Yes. Or a soldier that's fit to be a wife. Uh, you know, if a, a, a soldier fit for a wife. Okay. Let's, let's turn it around so that way. So she's a spiritual soldier. She's a and spiritual soldier. And let's tie soldier. that in with the scripture that talks about be what? A good soldier. That is correct. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Paul said. That's right. To be a good soldier. So that's to the body of Christ. But women 
in particular, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about women are soldiers in the army of the Lord <laughs> and how God has anointed certain women to fight mm -hmm. tooth and nail to wrestle not only with the powers but to wrestle with God and to wrestle with anything that and stands wrestle with anything <laughs> that stands to threaten what God told her is hers. That's right. You said a warrior woman has ways to distinguish a hero from a, among the ocean of people. That which is means correct. you're I, I'm taking from here, she's just not the kind of woman that's going to sit and allow a man to come and shoot you in her ear. Oh, baby, you so pretty and fine. No, 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 oh, no, baby, no. I want to wine and dine you. Yeah. I just, come on, I'm going to take you to the moon and back, and I'm going to do this and that. And she's very serious and focused, the kind of woman who knows where she's going, knows what she wants, knows that she does not have one centimeter of a second to play games with a woman or play games with a man uh, that comes in her life to play with her heart or to, 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 to block her from moving into the place where she's trying to achieve. That is very accurate. If you have been around a soldier, a family member that has been in the military, any uh, soldier, uh, any, <laughs> any soldier, uh, you know, that has been in the active military or even a retired you will see that their behavior pattern is totally different. Some of them are so, uh, you know, traumatized by the events that surround certain battles that they had to engage. So right. it was a matter of life and death for them. For them, so you are not. It's, it's not a storyline. So when you are dealing with a warrior woman, you are dealing with a woman that knows how to risk it all. Yeah. So men, some men don't like that. Talk about that. Uh, some men want a woman, just a woman that will dress and look pretty like my wife here. You just show her off, you know. But believe me, a warrior woman, you see how she, pretty she is? <laughs> <laughs> the next thing is a war. I buy this and I buy and you'll be surprised. What in the world? You know, some people, they will be like, what? What's going on? <laughs> I find this, I find that. And I right. command this, and I chew this, and I kick that, and I spit that out. Before you know it, the whole place is turned, you know, turned up. <laughs> Can you give okay. an example? Let me show you a, a, a lot of examples. Of the mind, like what, example. You, what you just said. Yeah. Uh, some women, warrior women. No, we, in the house. Bring it home. Bring uh -oh. it home. Bring it home. Uh -oh. Give, give mean, the people an example. It is, it is wait, 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 wait. Give the people an example of what we go through yeah. because I want you to be able to just kind of get with them it, it, it like person real to here. person. All right. Tell it them. is real here to a point where you don't know what to expect. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> so things are completely unpredictable. This is why a, a warrior woman is looking for a hero, someone that will understand, mm. you know, her world, what is going on inside her life, because there is a raging battle that she's monitoring. It's like, you know, being uh, 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 completely wired up with a computer system where your brain, it, it, the, the computer Wired is running your warfare. brain. Come on. It, it, she is in a different zone. And so sometimes you want to hold her, and she's a real woman. Oh, she wants to hold you too, but watch out. She is armed and totally dangerous, even in the bedroom. So, you <laughs> said a, a woman uh, who is a warrior by nature, oh, yes. pretty much that's what you're talking about. Her mind is wired. Her spirit is wired. Mm -hmm. She's fighting for something. She's not just fighting. She's fighting for something to obtain something. Mm -mm. Maybe it was a promise of God. That's right. Maybe it's something that's going on in her physical life or her family life. She's in the gap. She's taking blows. She's going back and forth to make sure she win her battles. Because a warrior woman, as you're talking about, and if you're talking about me, <laughs> I want to win every one of my battles. That is correct. So whichever way I got to do it, whatever way we got to duke it out, I'm going to win. I'm, I'm shooting to win. That is correct. I am aiming to win. I'm not aiming to miss you know, miss my next level in God. So the thing is, is 
when when you want to get close to me and hug me and kiss me and if i'm in a zone of devil in the mighty name of jesus whatever you have your hand on i command you to release it i'm breaking he's like oh oh oh, oh you know and i'm like wait hold on i'm working on something right now just let me work this thing out <laughs> because i hear god talking and i and you know i just gotta get in here and so he'll just you know he'll just let me go and do what i have to do yeah, because uh, some men will not understand this stuff. Right. Because that is totally strange. <laughs> it, it, of course, <laughs> it, it is true. Because <laughs> when you want to be intimate, you know, a oh. man want to be intimate when he want to be intimate. So, the, the, attention, the attention of the man is focused on one thing at a time. So right. if this is what he want to do, this is what he want to do at that yes. time. Yes. But this warrior woman, because the battlefield, she has a simulation of the battlefield. Yeah. She's using a deeper insight from the spirit realm that to connect her into what is going on. So the sensibility is too high. Yeah. Where she's looking at things from different angulation, even when the man is, you know, is getting carried away, uh, maybe because of his attention, uh, you know, whatever he's trying to look into achieving. But this woman is completely engaged. So uh, when you look at her, she's normal. She look normal. Because she's a normal person, but she is equipped to do warfare. That's what makes her totally different. And she is willing to die. She's willing to give her life. So there's a lot that is going on. In fact, a warrior woman is a defender and a protector. Let's talk about this. A warrior woman is a defender and a protector. I'm reminded of Deborah, the judge. That's the scripture that I have right here. Barrett did not <laughs> want to go to war without this woman. That's we right. have to look into the life of some warrior women in the Bible. That is correct. And we, we will find out that men, if they can only see in the realms of the spirit who this woman is, if you're only looking at the exterior and you want to get with a person because she's pretty, she's fine, she's this, she's that. You want her to bear your babies. You want her to, you know, cook for you, clean for you, be on your arm and show her off like a trophy. But you don't see what God is calling her to be. Then there's going to be friction in the house because you don't understand her anointing. That is correct. That is where the problem is because if you look at the life of Deborah in Judges chapter 4 verse 9. You will see that a warrior woman is not somebody, is not a pushover for your own information. In other words, she wants her credit. And then some men will find it very challenging. Because that woman was not willing to, you know, throw her credit away. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> she told Barak, listen, I'm not coming with you unless, you know, you are not going to, you know, sabotage my honor. And say, oh, it's a woman, because God gave victory to the woman. This is what it is, you know. Men like to take credit for things. Let's talk about the woman. I, I heard you say something about the woman being the glory of the man. How does that interconnect? It connects because the woman as a protector and a defender, she this. is actually the very ultimate security for the man. Oh, hold on now. You're going to have to slow that down because you just said she is the ultimate security for the man. Yeah. When, when, how, how can you say that when a man says that, well, the Bible talks about the man being the head, the man being the covering. How, how do you tie that in by saying that she is the security? The woman is the glory of the man. All right. The glory incubates. The glory overshadows. Mm -hmm. The glory... Uh, conceals that is a different side of uh, security uh, there is okay. a difference between a man covering the woman uh, to say I am her head uh -huh. uh, you know I am the one that you know stand in leadership with her or co-lead with her or co-rule with her but the woman is designed as the body to hide a lot of secret that will save the life of that man. So let's give an example <laughs> about this. What if someone on the outside is threatening the home? Uh, maybe it's an agent of darkness. And because the man may not be in a zone at that moment, he may not even be aware that the enemy has sent an agent to the house because they are decoys. 
That's right. Or not only sent them to the house, but on the job place or wherever. Mm -hmm. And the warrior woman, because she is built for battle, she is sensitized to the realms of the spirit. So she's already in prayer over her home 24-7. So the Lord will show her what's going on in the spirit. So when she begins to pray and the Lord shows her something, and then that woman goes to the man to expose it to him. But then the macho, egotistical person gets like, woman, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear what you have to say because, you know, you just stay in your place. Yeah. You, you know, just sit down and be quiet, go cook my food. But you don't know that God has spoken to that woman to show that woman there is a threat coming to that house. A storm is getting ready to come to that house. Right. Somebody is getting ready to hit that house. And the devil is trying to break that house up. So what is the position that the warrior woman take then when the man doesn't understand? <laughs> because a lot of times men are like, oh, woman, you jealous. Women coming around, yeah, all of these Jezebel. kinds of things. You are stepping out over the you're line. You're Jezebel, you're Jezebel. You uh, 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 what's the other thing that they say? Yeah, you are, you know, psycho. You, you, you know, you, you are just too, uh, um, uh, too uh, jealous. Yeah. Everything is all about jealousy, but that's not what it is. If the man really understand why the woman is called a help meet, there are so much mysteries and secrets that are locked up in the life of a woman that the man will need in a lot of times, in a lot of places. As a defender of that man, remember that the man has to die in love for the wife. When that man died, the only person that defended the body from getting, you know, from the enemy claiming the body is the wife. That's what Jesus is doing. So when you look at the defense, the extension or the extent of the defense that the woman can build around the man as the body. So when the woman begin to the warrior woman begin to you know get a signal that things are happening and uh, they, 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 they are very risky and uh, she go to go you know she take the issue to the man and say uh, this is what is going on and the man you know uh, just go off her instinct to go to work and kick in because she's trained you know to you know to win she she's not a loser <laughs> You have an example? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, I leave the example of what I'm talking about. It took me a while for the Lord to talk to me and say, your wife is a warrior woman. And it baffled me. I wrote the things that I look at what I wrote and I say, wow. I sat down and look at her. And I say to her, I want to talk with you, man. <laughs> so I began to talk about what, you know, the Lord just showed me. And she said, yeah, that's me. And believe me, it's true. There's a lot of other warrior women out there. If you have ever been around a soldier, you will see that whatever medal they receive for their bravery, unique uh, type of events that they successfully got through and won the victory. And when they are recognized, you can never take that honor away from them because they want to keep highlighting that honor. I receive a, a medal of honor. I receive this of bravery. I receive this award and I receive this. This is what is was happening to uh, Deborah. De De Deborah said to Barak, look, you are not going to steal my honor. Remember that the anointing comes to enhance the instrument of war. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's because the no, people no. of God, we're going to take this to the people of God because I truly believe that we all have something to fight for. When we are in these spiritual battles that never cease to come, we have to learn how to fight. We can't keep saying to God, why is this happening around me? Why is this going on? Why is that going on? I remember the Holy Ghost said, listen, pull up your trousers. 
<laughs> come on. You can complain. You can cry. I'll deal with you later. But when you are ready to mean business, I'll take you somewhere. And the Holy Ghost began to walk with me and teach me how to fight. He began, He taught me day in and day out to win my battles. And the thing is, is that we all in the body of Christ, not just the women. Men are fighting battles. That's women right. are fighting. Children are fighting today. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's my endeavor to bring warfare even into the children's lives. That's right. The children right now who are being bullied at school, they can arrest the demons that are utilizing those children. Mm -hmm. The teenagers right now who are going through so much in their lives, all kind of peer pressure, demons coming from everywhere, they need to be taught and trained how to do warfare. What are this fufu the clown in a children's <laughs> church and they don't know 10 scriptures? Listen, if the book right here that God gave to us is a sword and our children don't know how to use a sword, then guess what? We're going to have many casualties. Mm -hmm. And that's what I have a problem with in the body of Christ is because... The Lord have already written out the will for us. It is a written will for us to know that we have something to fight for. Because there is something that does not want you to obtain what God has for your life. That's right. There are powers that will not back down until you make them back down. That is correct. There are powers that are right now mocking you and mocking your God. That's right. The very thing that they did with, with David and Goliath. Yeah. Goliath was mocking God tooth left and right. Listen, your God ain't showing up for you. Your God ain't this. Your God ain't that. Yep. Telling telling David, I'm going to feed your your body to the court. You know, the, the, the carcass. The, the carcass uh, no, no. The, to, to the, 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 the files of the air. <laughs> This is what powers are speaking about your life every day. Yeah. You won't make it. Mm -hmm. You're going to do this. You're going to die. You're this, you know, untimely death. All kind of sabotage. You're not going to mm -hmm. get here. You're not going to get there. How yeah. are you going to fight this stuff? No, for the majority, we see people ignoring the fact that the battle is raging. That's correct. We see so many people today ignoring battle, mm -hmm. ignoring that we are on a battlefield. We are soldiers of the Lord. That's Why correct. else do we have a sword? Why else did he say put on a helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness? These are spiritual equippings, mm -hmm. spiritual tools that goes in our arsenal as the people of God. If a man uh, really understands the life of a warrior woman. In fact, for God to give you a warrior woman is a major asset. All right. A major, major asset Why? that will help you. The reason is because uh, two is better than one. And when two becomes one, you enter into a very deep mystery that the enemy cannot understand. You think you are fighting the man, but you are fighting the woman at the same time. And you think that you are fighting the woman, but you are fighting the man at the same time. And so, this is what happens in the realm of God. It, it, when you are dealing with superimposition, revelation is so powerful that it defeats the enemy's ability to counter your operation. Why is the warrior woman an asset to a man's life? Because the woman can do warfare. Life, physically speaking, is all about warfare. If not, you are got, not going anywhere. You know, in the body of Christ, uh, you see why the, the, the Lord, you know, had to introduce the church to warfare. Hmm. He used his own example to show the intensity of things. He did not look for problems with anybody as a baby. They brought it to him. Oh, come on. <laughs> they were looking to kill him from a baby. He was not even born yet. They were looking to get rid of Christ, the Christ. <laughs> so he came out fighting. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got to come out fighting. Listen, they already have sicknesses that are trying to trace you down. You know, all kinds of things that are trying to track your life down. You want to sit there and just let it come up on you and stay there? Mm -mm. You, you better back up off me. Listen, we, go, we are already in this thing we are already in a spiritual battle we can choose to ignore it or we can choose to just learn how to fight because there are things that are threatening your life as an individual there are spiritual right now arrows being sent out to your family to your finances god is not withholding anything from those that walk up right do you know who's withholding it do you know who is withholding it i'm yeah, fighting to keep you away from it the powers are, they are fighting your progression, mm -hmm. your open doors, 
your promotion. Potential. They are fighting, and then Satan is using agents, human agents as well. Mm -hmm. So you have powers, you have human agents. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many Agencies. different things coming from in different directions. People, unfriendly friends who say that they're your friend, really they're coming to sow tears. Mm -hmm. They are on a mission, decoys. You know, folk don't like you, jealous of you, but trying to get close to you. To My God, there's a whole lot of stuff that goes on in the realms of the spirit. And you have to have a sensitivity. You have to be in prayer. That's why I say, you know, boot camp is about teaching people how to do warfare, how to get up. And even when you are asleep. I have my sword right here on my belly. I got one on my side. I got all kinds. Listen, I mean, listen, God will give you weapons in the spiritual realm, but you have to do something spiritual to get them. That's right. We have to become spiritual. We have to be people of prayer, be people Good who job. are walking the floor and doing what we're supposed to do. That's a true. watchman is a watchman. A watchman cannot watch when a watchman is asleep, watching no, TV, yeah. on the phone, on the computer. You can't watch nothing but things that are in the physical. You got to go in the spiritual to watch. So if you are a warrior woman, you are a watch woman. That's correct. You are a watch woman. What are you watching for? I'm watching everything the enemy is doing. Anything he even think of. I got to be ahead of him. Because if I don't get ahead of the game, then there's a possibility. Oh my God. He'll hit. And I don't want to pray curative prayers. That's always trying to cure something in my life. In my home. Hallelujah. In my ministry. In my business. I want to pray preventative prayers. Where I have so many prayers led up. That I can always go out and pull because those spiritual prayers, they will never expire. So every time I need, come on, I need grace from God. I didn't already filled up so many vows in heaven. From I pull every arrow out that was sent to my house and it's going back to the sender. I'm calling for bombs, grenades, and missiles to hit the demonic kingdom and every one of his agents that come after my life, uh, come after my home, or come after anything that belongs to me. Listen, correct. people of God, we are warriors. And guess what? We have everything that we need. We have Christ. Not only Christ. Come on. The warrior. We have the word of God. We have not only that. Extra weapons that God gives to us. When we get up and pray. He will give us concealed weapons. That the enemy don't know anything about. Go ahead. You know. When you were saying this thing. You see me like I drifted away right. Yeah. Because something opened up to me. And it's so profound this thing. You could see the power of God here over this. I, I tell you. It's just right here. Right here. Right here. When you go to the book of Genesis. God caused the man to go to sleep. Deep sleep. So that he will understand the revelation about the wife. Because marriage is a spiritual matter. Yeah. That's where the very mysteries of marriage is hidden. So, to bring the woman out of the man and the serpent end up deceiving the woman. And the Bible says that the seed of the woman will Watch. smash the head of the, serpent. of the serpent. The enmity is totally official. Yeah. If you expose a woman to the spirit realm, to begin to understand the concept of spiritual warfare. That woman is so amazing. That woman is so powerful. That she's more than qualified. She's more than an asset. But because men don't understand these spiritual dimensions or dynamics. So what happens is that when they see a woman that is you know, into the things of the spirit. They say oh she want to be a man. What else? She wants to be the head. Mm. She don't want to be the head. She wants vengeance. She wants retaliation. That's what God is doing. When God releases the anointing on your life, automatically it's for vengeance. To go after your enemy and track your enemy. That's why the life of the woman, warrior woman is versatile. She's not driven by the external. She's looking into the spirit realm constantly. She's monitoring like a satellite. She's recording everything that is going. Hmm. And even though she looks casual, normal, 
But she's armed to the teeth. She's too dangerous for the enemy. So she's looking to, you know, to build back her credibility. And oftentimes men are putting them down. You know, you're a woman, you're a wife, you're a mother. Just sit down. Not knowing that this is a warrior that you need to stand with you in that battle. Well, I'll say it this way. <laughs> there are so much uh, men. So There are so many men who are under attack. Men, period. Oh, yeah. Not just some. Great attacks. Men are under attack because the enemy, he knew the power of sonship. That's correct. Right? So he wanted so bad. Think about what Lucifer wanted to do. And even when God created Adam, he was jealous. Yeah. Lucifer was jealous. Oh yeah, he was. <laughs> and there are such there, there is a hit out on men today. That's why the majority are in prison, on drugs, mm -hmm. you know, bound by some sort of sexual perversion. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, just One so many other. men or underneath so much captivity today. That's correct. Now, if you have a wife who is fighting for you in the spiritual realm, how can that be anything other but a blessing? Yeah. See, how can that be a curse? That's not a curse. How can that be a, be a problem when she wants to pray you into your rightful position? Mm -hmm. That's why we have more women that show up at church than men. That's correct. Because why are men not on the face before God lying prostrate? Because the son of God, which was Adam, the very first son, mm -hmm. the created son. That's right. He was designed to walk with God in such a way. That's my right. God. So much dominion that God Come gave on. to Adam. Yes. So Satan is like, I don't want no male to have ever think they're going to get dominion back. Back in this earth realm. That is true. So men are walking around with all kind of proclivities, issues in their life, bound by some addiction, mm -hmm. bound by some woman, bound, can't keep themselves, their pants up, bound by this, bound by <laughs> lack of that, bound by this. And mm -hmm. then you got a woman that's going to pray for you and labor for you. And see an attack coming to your life. And then you got to say, back up off me, woman. Go sit down somewhere. You know, back up off me, woman. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just jealous. The devil is a liar. See, what the devil want to do is cut your head off as a man. What the devil no, want to do no, is cut, a cut as your... A chicken. As a Well, cut, <laughs> he says as a chicken. What the devil want to do is make sure he cut down every man, child. Because not only the woman will bruise the head. But God called in the very beginning the man and the woman to co-rule together. That's correct. So that's why he said two is better than one. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So when two is walking together in unity, they are, they are a major threat to the kingdom of darkness. That's correct. When one is walking in their position, that's really not, that's really not going to cut it. We need the male and the female to walk in the dominion role. That's why you will always have super furious battles when one person is in position and the other one not. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, you know, if a man is, you know, praying and a woman is out there in the world clubbing around, she's not taking care of the home, just, just she's not it. taking care of the children. That's sad. That's a pr that's that's a problem right there. But then that's when you have the woman that is doing the job of the man, and you got the woman that's praying, you got the woman that's up, you got the woman that's fighting, you got the woman that's taking care of bills, you got the woman that's taking care of family, the woman that is taking care of business, the woman that's doing everything. That's out of order as well. Both right. extremes are out of order. That's we right. need God, hallelujah, to touch the men and touch the women That's and right. cause them to work together in power. I'm telling you, this is something that Satan hates about dominion marriages. I'm talking about marriages. That's why he fights so hard. That's right. He fights so hard and he sends decoys to mm -hmm. split it up. Boom! Your marriage is now in a divorce court mm -hmm. because nobody is on their post. But when you become a warrior in the realm of the spirit and you are sniffing out and you're searching out and your senses right there can all automatically before you even open up your mouth, God then already gave you a sense. He gave you a sensory mechanism on the inside of you, the sense where the devil is. I'm telling you, people of God, we got to come back 
into rightful position. That is correct. The, listen, the beginning of time, in the very beginning, in the book of Genesis, God created male and female that is correct. to walk in dominion. dominion. Do you know what dominion is all about? A supreme. That's why there was such this serpent, such a battle, because he did not, he couldn't even think about Adam and Eve ruling this world and just yeah, keeping ass. him away from what God had given them. Do you know that we can still be in a garden today? Yes, no right. sickness, no disease, no craziness, no addiction, no, no pain, wars. no war, no, no hurt, no this, no that. But Satan knew that, oh my God, God gave them dominion. What? Oh no, uh-uh, uh-uh. So then he come to deceive Eve. Yeah. Eve, didn't God say? Listen, <clears throat> we as a couple are more powerful against the demonic kingdom. That's right. Together, walking in our dominion role. That is right. Walking in order, understanding the role of order, understanding the submission to one another in the fear of the Lord. You know, the scriptures made it very clear. Mm -hmm. If two shall agree yeah. as touching one thing. That's right. Imagine when two becomes one. That's right. It is totally powerful because it will create a formula where the enemy can no longer exploit the separation and the avenues which to separate the marriage. They two shall become one. It is so hard to separate one from one. But once he sees that, okay, the man is doing his own thing, the woman is doing his own thing, uh, you know, they can't it's get along. He will exploit every crack because that's what he wants. Cracks in a marriage. Okay, yeah. So what is going on is that God wanted to solve all the entire problems of the man. Mm -hmm. When I use the word man, I'm talking about the man and the woman. Because they were one. That's why they were both called Adam. Yeah. In Genesis chapter 5 verse 2, you can look at it. Yeah. So you are seeing that a lot of the help that a man will ever need in this life, the wife is carrying all the tools. My God. <laughs> hey, glory. <laughs> Le ah, yeah, yeah, La yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, any guy, I said this in a conference, I think we was in Boston uh, a few months ago. I said, any godly woman, any godly woman, not a whorish woman, not a prostitutish woman, you know, not a woman that want to see the fall of her man. Any godly woman wants to see the man in her life rise into the stature of which God called him to rise. When he rises, she rises with him. There is no need for competition in the house. Yeah. There is no need for, you know, big eyes, little youths. We are a family. We are a unit that we have to fight Satan and the world together with our backs facing one another. And brrr, don't come across this line. Listen, you're going to get electrocuted if you come across my household and you don't have no business being here. No devil, no witch flying on, no broom, whoever you are. No no hex, no vex. We're coming after all of them because why? There are people who are evil. They are working for Satan. Listen, everybody is not happy for your rising. Everybody is not happy when they see you happy. There are some people who are threatening and making a vow that they will destroy what you have. That's right. There are people that are vowing on their life. There are people who are saying, come on, people of God, I want you to become spiritual. There are people right now that have made a vow to Satan that they will destroy your life. That is what are you going to do about it? Mm -hmm. That they will destroy your household. There are jealousy spirits that are envious witchcraft. And if you don't fight against it, the arrow will land. This is what we need to do. We need to get back to effective prayer. That's the right. Bible says... Listen, if we take effective prayer, not just praying amiss, we take the word, we are a sharpshooter with the word, and we are able to quench every fiery dart of the wicked one through our prayers. It's not just through quoting scripture. You know, I quoted scripture for about 15, 20 years. <laughs> Listen, I 
was walking the floors and I was quoting me up some scripture. I'm a Bible girl. Mm -hmm. So you come at me. I'm coming at you with the word. I'm We're going to go at it because I'm a Bible girl. But I quoted scripture and I kept asking God, why is it? Why I don't see, why I don't see these scriptures coming to pass? I don't know. I'm, not, I'm just well, I'm well, trying well, to find scripture. Don't mean that God is speaking. <laughs> you, I'm I'm working that word right. Uh huh. So I didn't know that I needed something behind the word because yeah, the Bible says the that the word itself kill it. Yeah. The letter, the letter, the letter itself kill it. You need the spirit. To empower the word, the oh spirit. my God, and oh the Jesus, is the life of the world. Oh my God, listen, people of God, come on, talk yeah, about the warrior. There's something that I want to show you. There is something that I want to show us about the warrior woman. If the wife, the woman, is the glory of the man, yeah, that woman is a is a tones. She is tones of weapons walking. As a storage room of unusual arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> if you let her loose to go all the way, look at where God hid the woman in the life of Adam inside of him. When you move from the anointing of the Holy Spirit and get into the glory realm of God, do you know what happened? Your life will enter inside of God. You are hidden with a Christ inside of God. So that's why the glory becomes a defense. So the woman is a defense. The woman is the glory of the man. Which so is she is a defense of the man. Unbreakable security because you can find the man. Same way you can find the woman. If they become one, hey, you cannot identify the you know really identify who is who. That's what God is working. This is how dominion work. Dominion is all about subduing and ruling. Look, Sister Cindy said, loose that woman and let her operate. Listen. Oh, come on, woman, you are loose. <laughs> Watch this. Listen, my husband has <laughs> never, ever had a problem because we were both in ministry before we married. So I was already traveling and preaching. I slowed down preaching when I had my little girl. So I got pregnant and then I kind of pulled back a little bit. But I was preaching and traveling before we married. So, you know, I I, I think I stopped preaching at six months pregnant, right? No. About you went months. beyond that. No, I, eight no, months. Eight months pregnant. You You stood up and preached over there and, and then we were shocked. Yeah, I and was the belly was like, <laughs> yeah, I, oh, yeah, you're right. And you were wearing heels. <laughs> yeah, I was preaching pregnant, right? <laughs> and my husband has never, and he's an African man, and in Africa, it's a lot of male dominance. Let's just be real with it. And so, you know, uh, I even had, before I got married, there were people saying, oh, my goodness, she's marrying an African. She ain't going to be able to do nothing now. She's not going to be able to do anything. He's going to stop her ministry. He's just going to shut her down. She's going to be barefoot and pregnant, and that's it. She's going to pop out a lot of babies, and that's it. She is, She's done. Her ministry is over. Well, listen, soon they found out that my husband was the complete opposite. In fact, he is my number one cheerleader, and I want him to talk about how he feels about releasing me. Because, you know, there's some men who feel like, woman, shut up. Listen to your, listen to your husband. Let your husband. And my husband, like, you better say it. Woman, you better open your mouth and say everything God told you. And, and the very first thing I remember you told me, you said, listen, I'm not going to give account to God from telling you stop doing what God asked you to do. I will be responsible. You told me, you said you will be responsible for shutting me down if yeah. God told me to do I'm what not, I had to do. I'm not going to get into no problems uh, with this whole thing because I know how things work. Tell him, tell him what you say. Uh, I told her clearly, and uh, you will hear it now, I'm saying the same thing. I am not responsible to answer for her before God. My hands are clean. Which means? Which means she must do everything that God said to her to, her to do. As long as we make sure that it's coming from God. She will do those things 100%. No restrictions. Tell him what you tell me in this house. How you talk to me. How you coach me. How you push me. Oh yeah. Tell him. Uh, you know, I am her life coach. That is for sure. You know, battles. Whatever it is. And tell them how asking you tell me questions. To say things and... Oh yeah, there was a time even, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she, 
she came to me, you know, this, that, that. I say, listen, go on, you stay, you know, go and No, when you it, tell me to just, whatever God gives you, say it. Don't hold back. Don't. I don't don't be afraid of anyone. That's don't right. worry if the men don't really want if, you to say it. If they don't receive it, that's, if they don't welcome it, who cares? That's what he tells me. Speak what God gives you to speak. That's the bottom line. Because you are going to answer to God, not to me. I am going to answer to God. You are not going to answer for me. Right. I'm not going to answer for you. So the best thing is that we have to understand uh, our relationship, the different aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Yet there's still a purpose. Right. I cannot cover your purpose. My God. It will be too dangerous for me. Because God called you yes. and God called me. And he just put us together for a purpose. So we have purpose, individual purpose, and we have marital purpose. That's right. We have ministerial purpose. So when he says, listen, bust the cap off. You say what God wants you to say. Don't be afraid. I'm your, you know, you have to answer to me in, in a sense that no man can check me on what God has given me yeah. to say. I have to, you know, my husband, if he tell me, listen, uh, uh, you know, whatever, but he don't tell me anything, so I don't even know. I don't know. I'm trying to be. <laughs> he just tell me to go and do what God has called me to do. That's just about it. Yeah. They, they see, the thing is that you are my wife. Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> so I know what I'm doing. I'm not crazy. Mm -hmm. Controlling you is not my job. Mm. The way that I win is to push you to go to God. That's so. Push me to go to God. And that's where, that's, that's it. That's about it. And that's the way it's uh, supposed to be. So just say a little bit about when, when a warrior you, woman. When, when you have the fear of God, you will not do evil. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. And that, that's what it's all about for us. We are serious people when it comes oh, down God. to the purpose of God. Talk a little bit about, about the warrior woman a little bit more. Um, you said warrior woman is a different pedigree. Mm -hmm. uh, because of her spontaneity, spontaneity, she is a spontaneous person. You know when a doctor is on call? Mm -hmm. uh, even if the husband, it is the time to go to bed at night, and uh, all of a sudden the, the phone begins to ring, and the doctor picks up the phone and the hospital is calling him or her, uh, calling her to get to the hospital emergency room right now because she signed up for this. That doctor has to leave the bedroom, get dressed and get out of that bedroom to go to the hospital. The husband has to wait another time. Yeah, that woman is not running. She's not going nowhere. She'll be back tomorrow. So let's postpone the appointment. Mm -hmm. Let's meet another time. This is what it's all about. A warrior woman... Is on call. Hmm. She's, you know, she's a watch woman. She's watching. She, when she's not praying, uh, she is in a different, you know, she's strategizing. Remember that for proper authority to work effectively, authority and power to work effectively, you need intelligence. So a, a warrior woman is not a fool. Hmm. She's an intelligent officer. <laughs> <laughs> Intelligent officer. Oh, come on, come on. There, there are times, sometimes, oh, Lord, have mercy. that when when you are either tired or you just are in a different zone, you don't feel like praying one night. You, that's when you pick up intensity. And I, I, I monitor it. Yeah, he's just like low key. Quiet. I'm like, well, hold on, hold on, because we have to operate on a on a certain level of intensity. We have to have that. So when he's low and I'm, you know, I'm like, wait, 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 wait. You know, I need my atmosphere to stay in a constant mm -hmm. shift mode and mm -hmm. I'm going up into another dimension. So when he's down, I said, okay, I'll go to the back and I'm, I'm going at it. I'm going you at it. You put the music on. I put my, my worship to, You begin on. to pray and the different thing at the point, I'm obligated to get up now. That's right. So we and, are. And join in. Yes, and that's that's the good thing about having a warrior woman who understands there's something going on in the atmosphere 24-7. Listen, you people go to sleep, but devils don't sleep, 
Angels don't sleep. God does not sleep. Christ doesn't sleep. The people of God is who they, they are the ones that are sleeping. So we have to begin to operate off of heaven's frequency in order to stay in heaven's realm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we don't need that much sleep when we're operating off of the frequency of heaven. That is correct. That's why when you stay up and pray two, three o'clock in the morning, you got to get up for six to go to work. God then refreshed you. He gave you an anointing to get up and go to work. You are not tired. Any of that because you are operating off of heaven's frequency. We have to have that in our lives. That is how miracles are our normalcy. That's mm -hmm. how we live. We live with hearing the voice of God. That That's correct. how people who do not stay in the presence of God, they are not hearing from God. They are hearing fried chicken and hamburgers and pizza and hot dogs. <laughs> That's what they are hearing. So that's why when they get on it, say, you know, God said, thus said, and you don't see it come to pass. It's because it that is that. No, that's that, you know, pepperoni pizza that's talking <laughs> with anchovies and olives. <laughs> Listen, people of God, we got. <laughs> I'm making y'all laugh today. Listen, I'm just making y'all laugh. But seriously, we have to keep the atmosphere. We have to have where the devils are checking themselves 10 times before they think they're going to cross my windowsill. Thank you. Before they think they're going to bypass an astral project in my house. Watch this, woman. This is beautiful, what you say. They better think 20 times. Because <laughs> I'm black. Oh, this, anyway. this is very good, what you said, because... Look at what happened in heaven. I'm going at it. Look at what happened in heaven. Brother Keith say hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ezekiel 28. And then Isaiah 14 from 12 through 15. You will see the Bible say, For thou have said in thy heart. Isaiah. 14 verse 12 through 15. And uh, uh, Ezekiel 28 from 12 through verse 15. For thou hast said in thy heart, you will, you know, rise up, you will ascend. He said it in his heart. Yes. He didn't say it out with his mouth as yet. It was still incubated within the heart. It was in the thought process. Right. And God knew about it. And which means it allowed God to execute proper authority, proper judgment. This is why uh, Deborah, the king, called for Deborah to go to war with him. Because Deborah has the spirit of judgment to make articulate decision even in times of war. And she was also a prophetess. That's right. Come on. And and the Bible says that Deborah dwelt between Ramah and, and Bethel, which were two really highly spiritual locations. That's right. So she would sit under the tree and pray. So I mean, hard. so much. She would pray because she had to hear from heaven in order to advise the people of God. So <laughs> she had to hear from heaven. So she was a spiritual woman, not a carnal woman. No, she was not. So she wasn't going to the show, going out to eat, you know, going on dates every night. She said, no, I have to pray oh, because my I got to be in the presence of God mm -hmm. to get something out of that realm to give to you. That's now, correct. if I'm not in the realm of God, I'm no good for you. That's correct. I'm no good for myself either. Uh, believe, it or, believe it or not, there were other women. A lot of other women that the king could have called. Mm -hmm. hey. Believe it or not, that the king knew about the life of Deborah. That this woman is a warrior woman. That's right. She's right. qualified to come with me in the battlefront. She, the king was not looking for a loser. Someone that will come and cause him to lose the war. Right. And jeopardize the nation. And she said, listen... She didn't run from the battle. She said, listen, check this out, Barack. Watch this. Now, if I go to war with you, we just got to let it be known to everybody that you wanted me to go with you. That's correct. So you can't get all the credit. That's the warrior woman that I'm Come talking on. about. <laughs> the warrior woman wants her honor and her dignity. She's not looking to be raped and sabotaged. Come on. And treated like and, and treated dirt. like you know, she Come. she's like just an ordinary. No, she's an exceptional woman. She's an a different caliber. Ah, Patalamando Bokosea. 
She said, listen, we just got to let everybody, let, let, we got to let it be known that you were the one who decided for me to go. And she did not run from the battle. She didn't say, ooh, that's too many principalities out there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what are we going to do with the witches? The number of the what are we going to do with the warlocks? What are we going to do with the witches that's up praying? And No, 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 no. She ran to the battle like, my God. She was already, she equipped. Said, woman she was was already equipped for this. Come on. She was in the presence of God already being loaded. In the presence of God, that's where you get it from. That's right. You cannot stay outside of the presence. You will be a carnal woman, not able to do nothing in the realm of the spirit. Hey, quote your scriptures. Not only quoting scriptures, they got folk who don't know the word. What we're talking <laughs> about is being a spiritual woman that's right. takes for you to have dedication, mm -hmm. takes for you to have discipline, mm -hmm. takes for you to stop complaining about how much you got to fast, how much you got to pray, how much you got to get down off of the internet and leave that man alone and go into prayer because if you get with a man who is not spiritual it i can assure you that your battles will be so oh god they will dull your life they will cause your life to, to, to a win. point where you will come out of the spirit completely yeah and you're going to be in the, in the natural yes all the time and once you come to the natural the spirit realm will close off jesus and this is where the enemy will toy with your life and your household Jesus. And you can ne not find, you can never find the solution, the keys to unlock the secrets because secret things are hidden in the spirit realm. They belong unto God and only those things that he reveals. So you have to be in a position to receive from God. My people are destroyed. Uh, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they perish for lack of vision. The avenue through which God can sneak secret intelligence to you or open up a new concept, I, you know, for you to be able to walk on and go beyond where the enemy has barricaded. He thinks that you are coming from the east and you went to the west. That's what the journal 3 said, that he that is born of the spirit is like the wind. That's right. That's right. So the, the power of a warrior woman, my God, that's why I say get the men on because they have to understand that it is a certain kind of woman. Now, we she's need, not a Jezebel. <laughs> she's not a Jezebel just because she's she, not a troublemaker because she is checking things. She's investigating. She's gathering intelligence. She is, you know, a, a, a someone that understands the concept of battle. She wants to win and bring, you know, real joy. Last time she lost. The enemy knew that she lost. What do you mean, Eve? Eve. Yeah. The enemy knew that she lost. But I believe it or not that in this generation here, you will see women arise in this hour. That's right. With the great power of God. Women and men. And that's why we're doing uh, Men of Glory and we're doing the God Woman. Uh, very soon, we have so much we're working on. Pray the Lord send us as many destiny helpers as possible to get it done. We have so much great vision for the people of God. We are doing so much. You will see it unfold very soon here. <laughs> We're not letting it out, you know, for the vultures to get it and just squander it. But we are working this thing behind the scenes. And you are going to see some great things pretty soon here. So I want to encourage all of you Devorahs out there, all of you Esthers out there, all of you warrior women, even your men who don't understand. Listen, hit my husband up. He'll help you to understand the warrior woman and her anointing. Mm -hmm. The Lord gave him this powerful revelation. We have not scratched the surface. Nah. But what we have for you tonight, if you will want to invest in hearing it, it is the warrior woman project that my husband and myself did together. Um, uh, it is more extensive information. We did this in the studio, so this is a great deal of information that we did not go over tonight. It is the warrior woman. Let your man hear it. My husband is speaking a great deal. I actually interviewed him here, and we're just, just letting the Holy Spirit just minister to families and uh, couples. Listen, go to the website. You can get this for uh, pennies. You know, just go and order it and listen to it. Let your husband hear it. Listen together. Just just eat some popcorn and, and just sit on the sofa and let the word come in and get your marriages healed and restored and get on your feet spiritually so you can knock out some devils this time because so many people are being ran over by Satan and we don't like it. 
We don't like it. We hate what the enemy is doing to homes today when we have so much at our disposal with our big brother, Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah to God. We, we have too much. We have angelic help. We have so much. We have so many weapons in our arsenal, but you're not utilizing the keys that God is giving you. So we want to produce keys for you. Mm -hmm. This is what we're doing, producing keys and weapons for your life. That's and correct. we need to go over it. You need to know that key. You need to have that key and know when to pull it out and how to unlock doors with the keys. So go and invest. I see some of your names. You've been here. You've never ordered a CD. Uh, thank you for supporting us on our lives. But you can support us to finish doing the work of the Lord that mm -hmm. God has given to us by just purchasing a CD. We don't have any gimmicks with us. They have too many gimmicks already in the body of Christ. We're just letting you know that we have something for you that can help your spirit man grow and your marriages. That's what we're saying. We're help, We're doing things by helping you help us to fulfill what God has called us to fulfill. We come here and give you everything raw. We pour it out to you, you know, and we would like for you to invest back in us. That's and correct. and that's, that's what we're saying. Invest in us. We're investing you. We don't hold back. We give so much. And so it's time for some of you who we have been seeing here eating we want you to support where you're being fed that's correct we want you to support where you've been being fed you're being fed by us please help us because we have so much that's coming to the body of christ in the very near future everybody on tv needs supporters that's right. everybody out there and if you're supporting them praise god but if you're eating from us please help us we have so much that is going to come to your life and your homes that will set you free for real i'm <laughs> telling you we were talking about this today we are so serious about no gimmick zone that's correct that we are believing god for i'm talking about dynamite to come into your life we're believing god for some riches and treasures i'm talking about spiritual treasures mm -hmm. that you won't get anywhere else i promise you we are paying the price that yeah. we will have something for you that will alter the trajectory of your life. That's no gimmick zone. No gimmicks. We don't do them. We don't, we don't, we don't utilize them and, and, and exploit the people of God. Mm -hmm. They've already been abused financially. They've already been abused mentally. They've already been abused. We're coming to bless you. So we're just saying, listen, this city will be a blessing to you. If you don't need it, sow it into someone else's life. Amen. Throw it into someone else's life. Thank you so much for listening to us. We pray that it was a blessing to you. Any final words you want to say? The final word that I want to say to you is to be careful. Watch out to see that life without real authority and power equals to victimization. You become a victim in everywhere. Look at what is happening in the world. Look at what is happening in the church. Look at what is happening everywhere. If you are, if you don't allow the Lord to raise you up, to bring you up, don't think that people will easily take you up. Right. They will keep you where you are and exploit your life day and night and turn you into a victim. So we are here to fight the exploitation of the end times and the victimization of the people. You must rise and we vow to put our lives on the line to make it happen. Hallelujah. That's it. That's what we're doing. We're, we're fighting for a major cause here. Your people, the people of God, or the business of God. That's correct. You, your life, your circumstances, or the business of God. It's not just running around a church, acting like a chicken with a head cut off, and not getting anywhere, <laughs> not growing in your your life, your spiritual life. You're not progressing, and you're mad with God that he didn't come through for you. No, okay. we're going to show you how to get God to answer you with real spirituality here we're not talking any crazy gimmicks just you know getting the 500 dollars line we're not doing none of that we refuse <laughs> to do it lord take us out of here we start doing any gimmicks That's just right. take us on home because we don't have time for it. too many people we ourselves yeah. have had too many uh do so much to our lives throughout the years so we don't want any of you to go through what we went through Amen. god bless you we love you the people of god Anything on my website, I believe everything is under 20 bucks. So this particular CD may be about 15. I'm not sure, but everything is bucks. under 20, but everything is under 20 bucks. You're not going to get anything that's all out the way. You know, it's just, you know, 
we just try to make it affordable for people but at the same time we have to live and at the same time we have to work on projects that we're working on for the body of Christ that's what we're doing we're working on so much more for you and we're on television so we need that help and we're going to begin to work this week I mean we know we have to pay how much how many thousands for the television camera <laughs> so many thousands for one television camera that's what we had to pay oh, and God. It's just coming out of our pockets. It's that's just how ministry works, you know. So we we work and we do everything. But I'm just saying, uh, for those of you who love our ministry or have uh, partake from our ministry and eaten from our ministry, we're just asking you to support. Buy a little CD, sow it into someone's life. If you want to donate, you can. But there will be no gimmicks. So you don't. You can feel zero pressure with us. That's, that's what I want you to feel. Zero pressure financially. We're not going to be like, you know, sow a seed, you know, every every five minutes, you know. No, uh, no. You know how ministry works. We don't have to do that to you. We're just simply saying we've seen some people who've been here with us and they haven't really done much uh, as far as ordering one CD or one book or anything like that. So that's all we're saying is you will never feel pressure from us. We have vowed to the Lord we will not do that ever, ever. My, I mean, I know so many people who have been hurted financially mm -hmm. and raped financially, abused yeah. financially, even older people who are believing <laughs> God for miracles and, and they're just raping them every mm -hmm. day. And, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's a painful thing when you have the heart of the people. It's a very painful thing to see them go through that. But we, we, necess we, we have to have support in what we're doing in order to bring you more. So that's what we're saying tonight, and that's just about it. That's Amen. just about it. And we love you. We we want to go ahead and bless them tonight, and uh, we'll be seeing them soon. Father, we want to thank you for your precious people here. Uh, they have heard from us uh, the wisdom that you have given to us, Lord God, the depth that you have opened for us. And we are sharing with them these things. Yes. We want them to be prepared. We want them to rise Hallelujah. because this is what you have for their lives. We don't want to detain them. We don't want to restrict them. We don't want to contain them. Mm -hmm. We want them to, Father, uh, explode. We want them to rise yes. with great power. We want their lives to change overnight, to yes. become fully transformed. We want them to enter into the realm of heaven and to operate in the fullness that you have for them in this hour. We vow, Father, to put our lives on the line for their sakes. Jesus. Because that's what Jesus did. Yes, he And did. Father, we would not dare disrespect Jesus today. We would not dare insult him after he had laid his own life and died for their sakes. We vow that we will stand and tell them the truth and nothing but the truth. And we give you the honor for their lives as you visit them with a great visitation in this hour. A lot of them will rise up with unusual testimonies. They will say you came to their house. That's right. You came into their dreams. You came into their visions. Oh. You met them in the car. You met them in the shopping mall. You met them here and there. And Father, they will begin to speak the new things that you are doing in their lives. Yes. We ask you to protect them in this evil hour. Yes. Oh, God Almighty, thank you. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Hmm. Oh. My God. Ba, 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 ba. My God, my Jeez. God. We release God. them today. We release them today. Thank we release you. them today. Let there be a supernatural release over their lives. Yes. Let there be a supernatural deliverance over oh. their lives. Let the doors begin to open for them and let oh. your favors come. Let the power come on them, Lord. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, God. And we give you every single oh, bit of yes. the glory. Yes. Amen, people of God. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much for jumping on with us every time. We love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful service on tomorrow. We'll be seeing you soon. God bless. God bless, people of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo. So, that was good. Yeah, um, it was. We, we touched a little bit. Yeah, just a little scratch, but guess what? It's on. We'll it be back. Good. Warrior women. Woo! A soldier fit for a wife. My God. Don't turn the weapon on me, man. <laughs> <laughs>
God bless you, Sister Anita. God bless you, Sister Lori. Thank you for coming on. I have all of your uh, inbox. We will get to them tonight. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Betty. Sister Juanita, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The city is coming. Oh, yes. The city is very released. It, it's just too beautiful. That's, I tell you. That song has. My God. Sister Sunshine, Sister Shelly, Sister Sherry, Sister Jamaican Grace, blessing. Teresa, God bless you. Sister Julie, blessing. Jamaican Grace. Hallelujah, we're praying for you, Jamaican Grace. Sister Lorraine, waiting on the CD. Yes, it's coming. Free orders tomorrow. Free <laughs> orders. So, my God, it's coming. You're going to be the first to get it. <laughs> Good night, Sister Jacqueline. Ordering tonight, Sister Mito. Bless you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Aha. Right. 